guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Latin Emiola Oliver, the CEO of Red Flame Symmetry. Yeah, so um, thank you so much for the engagement thus far, and even in the previous video that we just concluded last week. Don't forget to click on the like button, subscribe if you've not. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned to the end of this video and I'm going to be talking about something quite interesting. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something that is mistake and nobody rise by default nobody rise yes wealth money or success is predetermined there is no mistake in that but you still need some factor like grace like favor you still need all those things and as a believer in christ already we have that so you need grace you need favor because you cannot afford to depend on your hard work only. The next one is the skill. With the skill, you have to know it to a point whereby you are exceptionally talented, exceptionally good, just quite distinctive, such that when everybody like sees it and they'll be like, wow, this person is really good. So that is just you have to be exceptionally good. Another one is your mentality. What is your mind communicating to the environment? Is it communicating that I'm part of the masses or is it communicating that I am taking over? Once your art can communicate success, 
one way or the other. It is just a matter of time before the manifestation comes. It's the same thing with photography. If you have the mindset that, yes, I'm starting photography now, but within so, 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 and so period, I will be everywhere. And it is not necessarily 10 years. It can be a very short time. So it is what your mind is communicating that you'll be working towards. Once your mind gets it right, I mean, you'll be like, wow. That is why your attention must be paid to your thoughts pattern. So that you don't just allow anything inside your head. Your mindset is very important. Once you get the mindset of a success person, success is just only a matter of time. That's the thing. So in a competitive world, just like in a school environment where we have the first, the second and the third best students, the difference between those three people and the rest of the class is that they see themselves at the top. It's their mindset, not necessarily their hard work. Their mindset influences whatever they do. Their hard work, they are studying late and all of those stuff. It is mindset actually. The last word is going the extra mile. That's my last point. The question is, how many people are ready to go the extra mile of doing something, of, of really learning what something entails? I mean, it's just like in school, in the schooling environment. We just expect the, the teacher to teach us, we learn, we write, we read and pass exam. But how many of those students go at the extra mile to go and do research? online, in libraries, about what they have been taught. It's the same thing in photography. How many people are ready to go the extra mile of doing research, of, of learning, staying up late in the night if possible, of learning for hours and hours and hours, of going to seminars, of doing so many things that the an average person wouldn't even do. You have to learn to do extra mile. You have to learn to do. Most um, successful people, they are people of high activity. They do a lot. They learn a lot. They practice a lot. So you have to ready to go the extra mile for anything, for success, even in anything. I in a in a world in a in a country where every um, there are so many people in photography. One thing that will make you to stand out is going the extra mile. Going the extra mile to learn editing, going the extra mile to learn how to shoot, going the extra mile to learn how to do the business of photography. Like I, I told you in one of my previous videos, is the business of photography in Nigeria. Knowing the, going the extra mile of learning how to improve your craft every day. How many people are ready to do that? And it is one of the key ways to be distinct in a competitive environment. That is how to thrive in a competitive environment, how to have an edge in a competitive environment, in a creative world, in a creative space like photography, especially in Nigeria. Put these things into use. Don't be surprised. Of course, I may not be the best photographer in Nigeria, but there are a lot of wisdom from what I'm telling you. Just put it into use. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the like button. And my next video will be something out of the blue. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.